cranberries are a part of the culture here in Massachusetts. And as you can see from the sky, there are a lot of bogs in Plimpton. Benson's Pond has been in Aaron's husband Cass's family for years. Aaron introduces me to him, and we find a bog ready for picking. It looks like a, a green lawn. Yeah. Um, on, it's a uh, cranberry bed that hasn't been harvested yet. So this property, the majority of it was built in the 1930s, okay. 1920s. So it's, it's we're in the current process of re, starting to rebuild them as and plant new varieties. But these, this old variety, we call it's the variety is called Early Blacks, which is basically an heirloom variety for cranberries. So pretty much what you what the pilgrims are probably eating, to be honest, very close <laughs> okay. to it. And you can w just walk right out here. Just yeah, trying to, yeah. I'm, I don't, am I gonna crush them by walking Maybe, on them? Maybe, but you're fine. The okay. few that you will, won't make. There's a surplus. They okay. <laughs> um, so, about August 1st or so, cranberry has started to form and they'll just continue, continue to size up until this point where we're at now. Okay. Um, if, if you look down in here, you can see that we have red cranberries growing underneath. Yeah. So these are that early black variety. They uh -huh. tend to ripen a lot earlier than some of our, uh, some of our other varieties. Uh, oh yeah, look at that, okay. And it's the, the same variety that was that's in that truck and the same variety that we're picking right now. And about how many acres of bogs do you have? You don't mind so we, uh, Benson's Pond, which is our farm, has 50 acres. We also work with my aunt, has another 100 acres, and then we also do some other people's as well. So I think total harvest is like almost 170. That's a lot of so that's a lot. That's a lot of cranberries. Yeah, a lot of pounds of cranberries. 